when Ryan asked me to speak, I thought, oh goodness. But, but then as I, I look behind me and I see all the women and, and the men that, that I work with daily that I'm speaking on behalf of, I, I couldn't pass it up. So um, I've, I've struggled with addiction for, for most of my life. Um, seeing me grow up as a child and as a teenager, nothing about my past would have ever made anyone think well, she's going to be a drug addict or um, she will, she'll deal with incarceration in her life. I come from a good family. I was, I was raised in, in private school, and, and I had a lot of, of good resources and love as I was growing up. I tell you all that to tell you this and show you that addiction and, and, and incarceration does not, doesn't matter where you come from. It can happen to anyone. I've worked very hard the past three years to, to make my wrongs right and to, and to pay back the debt to society. Um, since I've been released and gotten my life straight up, I've gotten married, I've got full custody of my children back. I have sustained a, a job for three years, and it's not just a job, it's an employee that's unemployed through the Exodus Project, and I get to help so many people. Some of them are actually here today. Um, I get to help them find a new life and, and be able to move forward and get their kids back. The passing of this bill would help us so much, but not only would it help us, it will also help our children. To be able to explain to my kids, um, mommy made mistakes, mommy was held accountable, Mom, mommy was respons took responsibility for it, and, and now it's been given back to her, the debt to society has been forgiven. Um, I, I thank you so much for having me here today, and one thing I want everyone to understand is I have a good story, and I've been very successful since I've been home, but I'm not the only one. There are so many just like me in the community that are our leaders and paving the way for others to come behind us. And so many of us standing right here would be so positively influenced and impacted by, by this bill in the past. So thank you so much. So as you can see, this, this bill not only is about statistics, but it's about the lives of real people. Standing with me today are some of our very close friends from the Phoenix House. These ladies, none of them had only been back in society for a few weeks, sometimes a few days, and they are very heartened by, by, what, by what is being done here because this has come out of conversations that I've had with them, the things that they need in their life. So again, this is proof, this bill is proof that coalitions of individuals from across political spectrums, from different socioeconomics, from different geographic locations, can come together around good legislation and actually make a difference. Americans for Prosperity is committed to helping our state remove barriers from people's lives that keep them from living their full potential. And we're going to be here for the long haul, and we're happy to join forces with all of our friends from across, across this state in, in doing so. And again, we appreciate the work done by uh, Representative Boyd and Senator Fitch on this bill, and we look forward to the good that it will, that it will do once it is passed. Looks like the uh, press conference is over.